Hey guys, it is Damakun. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are here on FIFA 20 for my Sheffield United career mode. Today is episode 24 and our first game is at home at Bramall Lane against Newcastle United. Now, if you did miss the last episode, you did miss quite a lot, to be honest. We played Portsmouth in the first match, we won that. Then we went to Villa Park to obviously play Aston Villa. We were 2-1 up and then they got a penalty. I don't think it was a deserved penalty, but they got a penalty anyway. They brought it back 2-2 game over but we also signed one other person that you obviously did miss if you didn't watch the last episode that is ollie watkins 75 rated right winger he was at sasulo but in real life he's at brentford i believe so we signed him after many many people recommended him in the comments he's a bit unhappy because he's only played one game against aston villa i believe it was but today we'll give him more of a chance because I did put a poll on the youtube community page asking how many games should i play per episode when we're not in the transfer window there was 75 votes as I'm recording this and 92% have said play 3 games so we're going to do that today. So we will be playing Newcastle and Stoke in the league and then Norwich City in the cup and then in episode 25 we will have Norwich City in the league straight off the bat. But before we head into this game against Newcastle be sure to like the video if you are new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell if you want notifications whenever these videos go live. Now we have struggled so far in the league, it just hasn't seemed to work for us so far. Second season syndrome is what has been recommended to me and I think it's actually true. We've got two points from four games, surely we need to move up the table, so like in this game anyway. So let's go to Bramall Lane and face Newcastle. Hello everyone and welcome to Bramall Lane. Today we host Newcastle for the first game of episode 24 and we have had a rough time against them so far in our Premier League career, well last season as well. So the first time we faced Newcastle last season was at this very ground, Bramall Lane. We beat them 3-2 but then when we went to St James's Park it was a different story altogether. Newcastle came back from being 3-1 down to beating us 5-3. I know it's such a disappointing time, but the man that was on form that day was Alan St. Maxman. Hopefully, he's not playing today for the Magpies, but uh, the Blades have a lot of work to do. And speaking about the Blades, this is our lineup. We've got Dino in goals. Baldock, O'Connell, Tomori and Stevens are at the back. In the midfield, we've got Fleck, Ferguson and Ollie Norwood who's captain in the side today. Ollie Watkins makes his first start for the Blades with uh, Robinson and Morrison alongside him. Dubravka starts in goals for Newcastle today. They've got Manquillo, Fernandez, Schaar, Dummett and Ritchie at the back. In the midfield, they've got Hayden, Sakaria and Van Aken. And up top, they have Muto and Jolinton. A 5-3-2 for Newcastle today. Hopefully, they are no match for ourselves. And uh, St. Maximin is on the bench. So let's get episode 24 underway with Callum Robinson getting us underway for this match at home. Hopefully we can make the home support have something to cheer about now. They haven't had much to cheer about so far this season, but hopefully we can change that today. We're just going to try and keep the ball in the middle for now. See if we can possibly break through them. Just like that, Fleck plays inside to Ollie Norwood. Takes a few touches, he hits it, does Norwood. Good save by Dubravka in the Newcastle net. Three minutes in, we're looking promising so far. The ball's out wide. And Isaac Hayden's picked up on the edge of the box. Hayden plays it back to Joynton. We messed up there. H Henderson with a save. And Muto puts it in the back of the net. We're 1-0 down to Newcastle. And that defending was absolutely atrocious. Muto has just lost a hand there. I don't know where it went. But look, what is that? What is that player doing? Shah, his hand has just gone inside himself. That does not sound good. But uh, we've gone 1-0 down. Henderson with a good save. They got headed into the back of the net by Muto, though we're behind once again in this season. It's not what we want, it's not what we need. And uh, we've got to fight back. Oh, they've actually lost the ball, have Newcastle. That was a big surprise. Now it's fallen to Lewis Ferguson. Back into Callum Robertson. Can possibly play it through to Ferguson himself. Ferguson first time. It Dubravka saves. Now Ferguson hits the post with that cross back into the box. We're ever so close in the 35th minute to bring the game back to equal level but we're just we just can't do it finds it into ollie watkins our new signing not doing much this game yet lewis ferguson picks it up we're just playing it back we just can't seem to find the passes but we have found lewis ferguson then to the box he hits it's a good save by dubravka and rava morrison isn't quick enough to get into hitting it into the back of the net it's fallen into callum robertson trying to skip away from a few robertson hits it from the end to the box another save by the newcastle keeper we're not challenging him at all, the shots are straight at him. 
Newcastle brought it to the touchline. Now they're making their way through. It's now back into Mankello into the box. It's cleared away by O'Connell. Only as far as Muto is blocked once again and we can clear. St Maximin is coming on, but it's a bit too late for them to do anything. It's 1 0 to Newcastle. Looks like another loss in the league for ourselves. We just can't seem to do much. And Newcastle's early goal is the decider. It ends 1 0 to Newcastle here at Bramall Lane. The home fans are not going to be happy. The whole team is going to lose confidence in me and that's not what I want. So if you look at this you can say it was not deserved for Newcastle, we had way more shots, way more on target, we just didn't have more possession and in the end it ends 1-0 to Newcastle, an 8th minute strike for Muto ends it and seals it, well breaks the deadlock. Fernandes gets the man of the match, their centre back, Dubravka made 7 saves, Henderson only made 2 but uh, what is it with their keeper, the opposition keeper making so many saves and keeping them in the match, I don't know. So after that tough game against Newcastle, a game we should have at least had a draw in, we head to Stoke City and they're new to the Premier League this season, they got promoted last season and this is surely not going to be a repeat of Derby County where I went into the game and I was like oh we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to win, we didn't. We currently sit in 16th on 2 points after 5 games, other teams haven't had much luck either. Let's head into this game and hopefully, just hopefully, we can get a good performance for once. I'm going to change the team up for this game and see if it works. If it doesn't, it's back to the drawing board and we'll have 32 games left to sort it out. Welcome to the Stoke City FC Stadium or the Bet365 Stadium. For the first time, I believe, we are here in this series. As we have changed the side a little bit, we've not changed some of the main players because I need another left back, right back if I'm going to play 4-3-3 with a totally changed side. For the home side today, they've got Davies in goals. At the back they've got Vidal, Wimmer, Shawcross and Tymon. In the midfield or in the CDM role they've got Cousins, they've got Mbula and Allen in the midfield. They've got Mount in the midfield and Ishak and some other player that I don't even want to pronounce his name up top. For our lineup, then the away side, we've got Henderson in goals once again. Baldock, Egan, O'Connell, and Stevens are in the defensive roles. Ferguson, Freeman, and Norwood in the midfield, and Watkins, Robinson, and McBurney up top. Now, I've changed the side a little bit. Egan's back in the starting 11. We've got Freeman back as well with McBurney, and hopefully, we can do something about this. A Stoke will get underway with Shubisky or whatever, I don't know how to say his name. We're underway anyway for this Premier League match of the sixth game of our campaign and we're yet to win. Seem unknown for Stoke so far, we've played it through into Robertson, Cal Robertson is always going to cut back and try and cross it in, surely that's a pen ref, it is indeed and it's going to be Shawcross that will get maybe a yellow card, the captain for Stoke has given away a penalty in the third minute. Oh no that's not a good penalty, Cal Robertson hits it wide, oh dearie me, what has happened there? Robinson hits the penalty wide and I still don't know how to take them properly. I tried to time it, but I couldn't. Somehow still got it and we can look to attack. We've got the ball through to Baldock over the top in towards Ollie Watkins. New signing hasn't really done much this season, but he can do right now. Ollie Watkins back post. Who's he on the volley? Oh, McBurney. Oh, McBurney. What a chance that was, but on the left foot, you've, you've missed it. I cannot believe that. I kind of hesitated in saying his name, but it just didn't work out, did it? Into the box to Mount, it's on to Vimmer, he struck the crossbar and a table puts it over the bar. So close, so, so close, and that could have been it, another lucky chance. Brought out wide towards the touchline, Ender Stevens has picked it up from Musa, have not got many people in the box though, but Ender Stevens running to the byline, crosses into the box, is cleared away, but can we get it back into Watkins, first time from Ferguson, oh my word! We have finally scored. Lewis Ferguson, number 28, has been a man that has wanted a goal. He's been the man that's looked for a goal most, and he's scored, finally. I am so happy with that. And hopefully everything just doesn't go back into tatters with Stoke scoring in like two minutes. But look at this. On the volley, Lewis Ferguson put it past Davies in the Stoke net. What can I say? I'm happy with that. As Rafa Morrison can finally smooth it. He's played it through into Lewis Ferguson. Can he do it once again? Ferguson, yes he can. It is 2-0. We've finally got a win in the Premier League. In our sixth game. It's taken a long, long time to get a win. But we finally got it. Three points on the board. Lewis Ferguson getting both of them. 
Oh boy, am I happy. He slides it to the right-hand side of Davies and into the back of the net. It's a P-roller though, but do I care? No. In the 90th minute, we make it 2-0. Stoke have no way back. And that is full time. I cannot explain how happy I am with that because we've gone so many games with struggling, so many games with lucky goals going to the opposition. We should have beat Aston Villa. It's finally come today against Stoke and I am delighted. And as I said, the Newcastle one was deserved. This one you could say it was kind of equal. 10 shots each, 5 shots on target each. They just had 1% more possession. But in the end, we walked away 2-0 winners and they didn't get a goal. Lewis Ferguson got man of the match though, as you would expect, with two goals deciding the game as well. I am delighted with him, he's definitely playing in the next match, or actually, next match is a cup match, I might save him for the league one. Dean Henderson made six saves today, a crucial in this game. Davies also made six saves, but he was colour clashing with ourselves, so I'm going to blame that. So Brendan Fagan has finally turned 16, so we can finally sign him to the main squad and that's what we're going to do straight away. We're going to promote him to the senior team, 64 rated. He might actually get a game against Norwich this time because we are facing Norwich three days after I believe. So we're facing them on the Saturday actually. So we've got a three day gap between this game and then our next game against them. So we might have to play Fagan to rest some of our good players or better players, sorry, for uh, the league game. So obviously I'm going to rest the good players for the league game, that's more important than the FL Cup, the Carabao Cup, I'd say so myself. We're away at Norwich for this so I might just play a kind of weekend lineup. obviously that it's going to be the youth team that play in the cup, that's the most important thing that we develop the youth, so uh, the team might not perform as well as, as expected, but uh, hopefully it's a good show anyway. So let's go into this game against Norwich. Welcome to Car Road for this Carabao Cup matchup today, round 3 of the Carabao Cup. We're here away from home, we've not got the main lineup. obviously it's a youth lineup, but we've changed that about a lot due to our next game being against Norwich as well. Norwich haven't won a game yet in the Premier League, although this is the cup so they might have changed things about. But looking at Norwich lineup now, they've got McGovern and goals, Byram, Odessina, Famuwu and Husband are at the back if they're playing a four at the back formation. Thompson, Power, Westwood and Hernandez are in the midfield with Martin in the centre forward position and they've got Timu Puki up top for themselves today so an okay lineup for them they still haven't won in the Premier League yet so this might uh, transfer over to the cup as well hopefully it does I'll be pleased if so looking at our lineup though we've got Michael Vrips and goals we've got Tomori, Brian, Basham and Morgan King at the back Brendan Fagan, John Lindstrom, Sammy Kruthers and Nathan Thomas are in the midfield you've got Tyler Smith hanging back in the centre forward position and up top we've got David Parkhouse. Now we've got two of our youth academy players that have been promoted to the senior squad, Morgan King and Brendan Fagan. They are both playing for us today. So this is going to be a good game. Hopefully it will be. They've got Timo Puki kicking us underway for the final match of this episode. Hopefully it is a good one and hopefully, oh that was a dodgy pass straight away for Norwich. Hopefully they're this shaky the whole game. We've now got into Morgan King. I don't know why Morgan King is there. We're going to try playing sign to Thomas. First time from Nathan Thomas. Oh, he struck the post. It's fun to Brendan Fagan. Oh, he's actually scored. On his debut, we've just promoted him from the youth side. And Brendan Fagan has just scored. The man with the ponytail, as I said. Hopefully, he's got that from Ronaldinho. He's got that. That angle was quite tough to score from as well. But he's gone and put it into the back of the net. Brendan Fagan there, you can see. Hit it. I think it... Save from McGovern, but he couldn't put it past the post. Brilliant start, brilliant start to his career is Brendan Fagan. And wow, that is amazing. 1-0 to ourselves, playing quite well with this side as well. Morgan King with a nice ball over the top and towards Nathan Thomas. Can he win it? Yes, he can. Into the box and David Parker, he's going to turn and he's going to hit it. It's a very, very poor shot. Poor execution there from David Parker. He could have done a lot, lot better, but uh, that's just unfortunate. And it's uh, the best start we could have hoped for. Obviously, this team not used to playing with each other. And as I say that, we've given away straight to Timo Puki. And Puki's actually away. Puki is actually away in the second half. That was a poor, poor pass. And Timo Puki has just scored and equalised it straight away from Carroll Road. We were playing quite well until that happened. And uh, I don't understand what I've done wrong there. I've played a pass in. Then I went to switch player and the game put me to the wrong player and, you know, everything happened there. Timo Puki scores. It's back to equal game now. He's going to cross into the box. Surely Tomori's got that. 
And surely Basham has got that. He clears it as far as Gerhard. Great save from Philips there. I was so distraught. I thought that was going in the back of the net. Gerhard shot. Good save there, but great to get down there. Westwood whips in the ball onto the head of King. Surely we can get that way further with Regan Slater. Yes, we can. And that is full time. It is full time here and it ends 1 1. Brendan Fagan's goal getting cancelled out by Timmy Puki. I don't know. Do we go to extra time or not? Do we go to extra time? Oh, it's penalties. It's straight to penalties. Oh, dearie me. I did not know this. And Timmy Puki is up to take first in the Carabao Cup. Timmy Puki takes it and puts it in the back of the net. Lee Smuse is going to take this penalty. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Lee Smuse has missed. It's now Morris taken for Norwich. He puts it the same place as Puki. And they're 2 0 up in this penalty shootout. David Parker is taking the penalty. It's a good save by McGovern. And we just can't ask for anything here. Westwood goes to take the penalty. Good save by Michael Phillips there. In goal for ourselves. Ravel Morrison takes the penalty. Oh, how does he save that then? McGovern somehow gets down to his left to save it. Hernandez is taking the shot up against Verips. And this is not looking promising. We haven't scored a penalty yet. Hernandez takes a penalty. Oh, he's missed it. Hernandez has missed. We have to score this. With Regan Slater. We have to score this if we want anything. Regan Slater. He's going to put it down to the left. Oh, he's missed. Oh, it's just, it's just not great, is it? We just can't score a penalty. This penalty shootout thing. We missed a penalty earlier on. So Norwich dominated us in that game, but they just couldn't break the deadlock. Their, their, their shots came more at the end of the game. More of them were at the very, very end of the game when we were struggling with this team. Obviously, they don't have that much stamina because they're so young. They're just building up. McGovern made five saves. Verips only had to make four saves. But I'm just a bit annoyed. I mean, I can't really be that annoyed because... It's not our proper team. If it was the main team losing on penalties, I'd be raging. But it isn't. So I can kind of give them some leniency. But our next game, which will be in episode 25, is at home against Norwich. Now, if you did enjoy this episode, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell, as I said, if you want notifications whenever these videos go live. Let me know down in the comments if there's any way I can improve this series. And I'll look at the league table before I end off. So Liverpool are unbeaten in the league after six games, followed by Everton and Man City both on 15 points. Both got a goal difference of eight. As we go further down, Arsenal are struggling. They're in eighth place. They're not that far behind everyone else. Though we are currently in 15th place after that win, but we still haven't moved up that far. We've moved up one place, which is quite uh, upsetting. But as you can see, Norwich there, six games, six losses. They've only scored two goals. Surely we can beat them on this Saturday game. Hopefully, if, if not, then I have something really wrong with me. But that Derby game as well, they'd only be on one point if they didn't beat us, which is a, a bit annoying because we could have won that game. I was just a bit stupid. So, our next game is at home against Norwich, and hopefully our form in the Premier League has kicked off, and hopefully we'll, we'll get even better in this campaign. But I can't really promise much right now because it's a bit unpredictable this season anyway. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching this episode, maybe not the Newcastle game because that was a bit of a monstrosity, but you know, we can work on it, we will work on it, I promise you that. Anyway guys, let me know down in the comments if you have any tips as I said before. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.